everyone, my name is Ella and I am super excited to show you what a day looks like for me when I have a concert or a performance in the evening. I am a second year music performance and education major at the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music at Cal State Long Beach. And on Tuesday, I had a woodwind chamber concert where I played in a flute trio and I also played in a flute choir. So I want to show you guys what I did on that day, including my classes, practicing, and also just warming up for the concert and how the concert went. On Tuesdays, I actually have the least busy day out of the week, so it worked out perfectly for me to have the concert on this day. And it was actually even less busy because I only have two classes on that day. I have woodwind methods in the morning from 9 to 10.50, which is where we're learning all the different instruments in woodwinds, uh, like in the woodwind group. And so we are learning saxophone at the moment. And the next class after that is from 11 to 12.15, and it's Western Art Music 2, and it's music history from Beethoven to the present. And on this Tuesday specifically, I did not have class uh, for the Woodwinds class because it was more of a not meet in person type of day. We were expected to complete a quiz and also uh, submit a recording, but I had already done that previously. So I had the morning off, which I used to my advantage. I took that time to practice my flute in the morning, get it done, get it going. I generally like having two practice like sessions throughout the day. So I made this my first one, which is like about two hours and it just worked out so nice. I love when like classes are just randomly canceled because it just gives me more time to like do homework or just to like fit in my practicing and not have to do it after all of my classes. But again, I only have two classes on Tuesday. For my practice today, I of course started with a warm up. So this consisted of some tone exercises. I was using the Moise flute tone book and I was also doing some exercises that my own flute instructor has advised me to do. I then worked on my scales and my arpeggios, some stuff from the Tafmal Gobert book. I then moved on to my etude, which was an Anderson etude, and then I moved on to some good rep. Then I finished off my practice by working a little bit on this piece called Poem, which is beautiful. And I also just reviewed a little bit of this piece. So after I finished practicing flute, my next class was the history class. And it was pretty interesting. That class is super fun. And so is my woodwinds class, but I had a good time and kind of here's what I worked on. history class I had to go get a COVID test because we are still required as musicians to go get our COVID test and especially because we have a concert so I walked up to upper campus and it was all good. Then by the time I got home I actually had a lot of time before I wanted to go back to school so I could practice a bit more and warm up before the concert so in between that time, I went grocery shopping with my brother since we are actually living in the same apartment right now. But I was dorming last year for my whole first year of college. And for the second year, I actually have an apartment and I moved in with my twin brother. So it's been very fun, but we had to go do some errands, do some grocery shopping. I also spent some of my extra time just doing some homework. On this day, I specifically was working on this theory project. So we were just coming up with our own chord progression. And what I'm about to show you is actually wrong. I got called out in class because I did the wrong um, chord, which I'll explain, but it's a good learning experience. Okay, I could still be wrong, but basically for this chord, not this one, but the one that I'm about to work on, I said it was a B flat diminished seventh because I, it's so confusing but basically the fourth of the key that i was in which is g minor was a c and then the seventh of c minor was a b flat but i was supposed to do the seventh of the c harmonic minor and not c natural minor so i got a b flat instead of a b and that actually threw off all of my notes but it actually sounded fine when i played it on the piano so i think that's why i didn't catch it but now i know it's built off of the harmonic minor
I also was practicing piano because on Wednesday I had a piano exam, so I wanted to make sure I was ready for that. Then finally, it was about time for me to go back to the conservatory so I could warm up and squeeze in a little practicing before the concert. So I got to school about an hour before the call time. I got there around like 5.15 and our call time was about 6.30 for a 7.30 p.m. concert. warm-up before a concert I like giving myself about like an hour just so I don't feel rushed but also just so it's not like too much time that I just get tired of playing the flute so what I really like to do when I first I mean I do this every time I practice but specifically for concerts I start immediately on long tones and like just tone exercises because I want to make sure I'm like feeling comfortable with my flute like making sure it's a good tone day and then I also like moving on to some like etudes and scales just so I can get my articulation going and just kind of warm up everything as you normally would when you play an instrument. I also like to run through my pieces, not completely, but if I know there's like a trouble spot, I just kind of like playing it for safe measures, but I would not recommend leaving anything that needs fixing for the day of the concert because that will just cause a lot of anxiety. I know, you know, in the past, if there's been a difficult measure, when I'm performing, I'm just thinking like, oh no, it's coming up. So I made sure for this concert to really iron out anything I was unsure about. So that way, leading up to the actual, you know, dress rehearsal and the performance, I could feel confident in what I was performing. the concert it was really fun and actually a lot more people showed up than I thought usually uh, woodwind chamber concerts are kind of small like um, not a lot of people go to them but it was pretty crowded and there were also quite a lot of people on the live stream so it was very exciting like playing for it wasn't a full house but playing for just a lot of audience members and the concert itself went well I definitely improved on things that I didn't really like in my last woodwind chamber concert in May um, specifically, I just had a lot more like confidence and I just wanted to really sing through my flute and just be like, yeah, I'm here and I'm ready to do it. Um, however, with that, um, like my tone, I, I liked and my volume I think was good, but my tuning was a bit not very good and I could definitely pick it out or pick it up when I was listening to the recording. So I just know for next time, I really wanna make sure I'm focusing on my tuning and just really mashing with the group. For the flute choir performance, I thought it was a really fun time. It's super like, it's super exciting playing with all these flutes because for this flute choir, it's actually every flute major in the whole conservatory. So there's about like 20 of us. So it's a lot of fluting. And I thought the concert went really well. We did talk about it in our next rehearsal and there are definitely a lot of things to fix, let's just say, but we were, almost using it as a practice opportunity because we are also playing that same music later, which is actually today when I'm filming it on Saturday. Uh, we are opening for our professor's recital, so uh, we get to have like a second chance at it. And so here are some clips of the actual concert.
after the performance, I went out to eat with some friends. We just got crepes and sorbet, and it was so good. But it was so expensive for no reason, but it was still very good. And by the time I got home and everything, like, and I was all ready for bed, it was around like midnight. But it was still a very fun evening, and I'm really happy that my first concert of the semester went well, and I think I learned a lot from the experience. So that about concludes my day. I hope you had fun going through my day with me and I hope to catch you later. Thanks for watching.